Hello, YouTube and anybody watching. Um, my name is Kate. Um, I have been going to haunted houses for a couple of years now. I love Halloween, love scary things. And I just wanted to do a review video on Dark Hour Haunted House. Um, this year I was searching on YouTube for reviews of Texas haunted houses and I didn't really find anything. So I figured that I could kind of fill in a need and post reviews on Texas haunted houses because I live in Texas um, and I love going to them. Um, and I love seeing the differences in different haunted houses. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what makes a haunted house good or just for kids, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> so my friend and I went to Parker Haunted House and I did a review video on that. It was kind of your um, made from scratch haunted house that you might see kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, but Dark Hour Haunted House is in Plano, Texas, and it's a lot more professional, I want to say. Like, it is it is a haunted house where people put money into it. Um, it is this huge warehouse. Um, there are two haunted houses inside of it. Um, what you do is you buy, like, a general admission ticket, and you can go through Dark Hour, like, whatever the main... Um, attraction is or you can buy that plus like a combo ticket where you go to, to that to the main haunted house and then also a smaller one um so this year the theme of the main attraction was um the 13th coven it had to do with like witches um i'm going to talk about that later um and the smaller one was called the House of Annabelle, I think. Um, and I actually didn't go through the smaller one because it would have cost more than the $29 it cost um, to go to just the main one. So my friend Maggie and I, and my my sister and um, a friend of hers, the four of us drew drove to Dark Hour and we got there around 8, 8.30 or so. Um, and I think it opened at seven, I want to say. It was either six or seven, but I feel like it was seven because you want to go to a haunt house usually right after sunset. Um, and at the time, that's when the sun was setting. Um, and so we arrived and there were so many people there. Um, they have a big parking lot, which is great. Um, but we, we were able to find a parking uh, spot, which I feel like was really lucky. There were a lot of people behind us, a lot of people like in front of us, it was already crazy. Um, and there were just people everywhere. Um, lots, just a huge crowd, um, but it was a very organized long line. Um, we finally found the end of the line, um, but my sister and, and her, friend didn't really want to wait with us and so I think they wanted to find food or something and so my friend and I were like we can wait that's fine I was like Maggie this is worth it um I've been before uh, it had been three years since I'd been before and so we were waiting and there were at least a thousand people in front of us um I was just hoping to get in in like two hours. Um, but I think when we got at the end, the line was like, it was like a three hour wait, I think. They they had like a sign that would tell you <clears throat> like how, how long they thought the wait was going to be. Um, but I was like, Maggie, this is worth it. It's October 30th. Like, that's why it's so crazy. Um, pro tip, don't go to dark hour the day before Halloween. <laughs> that maybe was, was a mistake. Um, if you're going to do that, if you're going to go to dark hour on Halloween or even like two days before Halloween, show up at like five, <laughs> show up at six, <laughs> um, show up at least an hour before it opens. And then you should get in in an hour or two, um, but totally worth it. And so we were waiting and waiting and they do a great job of having actors outside that, you know, people want to take pictures with or maybe the actors are scaring people. Um, they had like this giant like Mothman guy like on stilts and it was it was epic. Um, I have a lot of pictures so I'll try and cycle through those. 
Um, <clears throat> and so it was worth it to be waiting in line and we're talking to different people and we're meeting people. Um, every now and then we would take like bathroom breaks and go to like the dark hours um, uh, bathroom, which is like nice that we were able to have that access because I think the gas station right near us was like, no, we don't want you guys. Um, and so we waited for a long time, but it was fun and there was music sometimes. And um, I think eventually our phone batteries were getting really low. Um, and my sister and her friends um, actually didn't, hadn't bought tickets, but we did. We made sure to buy our tickets um, in advance, or at least I had bought mine in advance. And then Maggie bought hers while we were in line, like right after we got there. Um, but eventually we got through the line and there was a point where we heard and my, my sister was finally trying to buy her tickets and it's like 9.45, maybe 10 p.m. at night and we've been waiting for a while and my sister was trying to buy her, their tickets and they were sold out, which makes sense. You don't want to have a million people, like just another thousand people coming through. You do not want the actors to be acting until two or 3 a.m. Like they will be so burnt out. Um, <clears throat> but so they ended up just taking the car and going off. And Maggie and I still waited and we were like, so glad that we had bought our tickets. Um, and eventually we were able to get there, get to the front, we entered the haunted house like at midnight. <laughs> um, got there at, like 8.30, maybe 8.45. Finally caught in at midnight, um, <clears throat> which is, you know, at least three hours later. But it was, it was fun and it was exciting. Uh, we talked a lot. And <clears throat> so we finally get there, finally we're at the beginning. And um, what do we do next? Um, <clears throat> We, we finally walk in and we go inside the warehouse and we only had to wait for like just a couple more minutes. Um, they were having the majority of the line wait outside and it was nice outside, it's fine. Um, and it was nice because inside you could have a ton more people in like swirling lines, um, but they only needed to have like one line just going in. And so that made it go faster. You didn't feel like you were going to wait another hour, which was nice. Um, and it was cool to be on the inside of the waiting line because everything is decorated and cool and looks like a, like a dungeon or something. Um, these like stone walls, um, you have some people inside. Um, so finally, we're at the beginning, um, we are waiting to go in. Um, and I should add that we, we had these people in front of us. And so we were going to go with this group. Um, and that made the experience interesting. Um, this guy in front of us, he was with like, either like a girlfriend or a friend or something. And they were both so high. They were high, higher than kites. It was like, they were gone. They were just mentally gone. Um, and they like so we 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 end up following them through dark air haunted house and it was hilarious to watch this guy just be high and he's like he was like touching things and there would be like um like figures like um like there were like doll heads and like um you know statues and things and this guy would be like caressing their faces um that was that was interesting um, but it was really cool to go through. Um, there were things that I noticed that they could improve upon, but they also still have great quality as a good foundation for like how good their haunted house is. Um, they have a lot of different rooms um, of different sizes. You've got like hallways you're walking through. Um, there was like a hall of mirrors and that was really funny to watch the high people just run into every wall um and you, I won't like spoil everything we saw um but I mean you had high ceilings and low ceilings and different themed rooms I think 
that I would have preferred them to completely stick to the theme of like witches. There's a lot you can go into. There's a whole lot of backgrounds, you know, literature on witches. Um, I totally think they should have gone with that, you know, Blair Witch Project, go all out, you know, like sacrifices and different themed rooms. Um, but I feel like they should have kept to that theme. Instead, you had every theme you could think of. Like, you had like a pirate theme, um, like a cold, like, um, like you're in the mountains, uh, kind of Yeti theme, like just something of everything. Um, and I feel like that was a bit confusing, if that makes sense. Um, it just was a little um, haphazard to see just all these different types of rooms. Um, but it's like the rooms are really well put together. I would say though that I did notice um, a couple of like walls and things that A, could have used more actors, like should have had more actors. There was a lot of open space where you needed to have an actor there interacting with people. Um, there were several rooms we passed through where it's a whole, it's a room and there's nobody in there waiting for you to scare you, to talk to you, nothing. And I was like, you guys got to hire more actors and hopefully they're paying them well because um, Parker Haunted House is basically a volunteer system. I volunteered there and they told me that I wouldn't get paid the first year and if I worked every single day of that year, then next year I could get paid $750. And I was like, that's not good. <laughs> um, I can't do that. Um, so hopefully Dark Hour is pay paying their actors well. Um, if not, then they should really up that and hire more actors. I know they can afford it. That is the place to go in North Texas, um, besides Cutting Edge, Haunted House, but I've never, I haven't been there yet. Um, but yeah, so they needed more actors. And I did notice two, like B, that was my, my list is A, get more actors. B, I noticed that there were like walls and like corners and things that needed touch-ups. Um, there was a room, that was kind of like cave-like and it was really really cool but there were just a couple of spots where it was it was white it was like um it was like a part of this fake cave wall had been broken off like somebody had hit it and so like a like something had chipped and so you could see the white not painted like part of the wall um they definitely should fix those little spots that makes all the difference um, between feeling like something is fake and feeling like it's real. Um, so they just needed little touch-ups. Um, but I mean, who knows, maybe those chippings had happened that day and you can't fix it <laughs> that day. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would say about, about that. Um, and it was a pretty long walkthrough. It was, uh, we, we timed it. I want to say it was like 22 minutes of a walkthrough, which isn't terrible. Like it's it's a good walkthrough. You're able to like kind of get into this zone where you're in this unknown place and you're more susceptible to getting scared because you've been there for a while. Um, I, I would only get scared by jump scares, but I love seeing other people get scared. And I loved the actors that were there. Um, they did a great job of acting, um, which is incredibly important. Um, even though it was midnight, you still had people that were trying to scare people um but I felt like it was so sad and so degrading that I don't know if degrading is the right word but I did not like how the actors were forced to wear masks most of the time the actors were a distance away from us if you were worried about social distancing in this time when COVID is basically over uh if people would accept that um these like you had there was an actor who was on top of a platform and she was wearing a mask and I was like you do not need to you are away from everybody else like it it really took away from the costume and from what character that person was playing and that happened several times like I think everybody was forced to wear a mask um all the actors and I was like it takes away from the scare factor like just warn people our actors like are not gonna have masks and then weed out the people who are scared, whatever. Like, <laughs> um, it just really took away from the performance. 
Um, hopefully next year, people don't do that. Um, at the Parker Haunted House, that was less of a rule. Um, and I liked that. Um, I know that they tried to have certain costumes where they had masks and it did kind of work. Like there was a zombie and they had makeup, uh, like latex and stuff that covered their mouth. That's fine. Um, but these ones were like literally trying to be a scary person. And then you've got like a cloth mask. Like if you're a doctor, you're wearing a doctor's mask. That's fine. That would be great. But I'm not even sure that they really did that. Um, anyway, so it really, that's, that is the biggest thing that took away from enjoying the haunted house. And then the rest was fine. Like the rest was a lot of fun. Um, I just wish that you had Th that they stuck with the same thing throughout every room. Um, I loved some of the other fun things that they do. There's, they have certain fun aspects or like fun um, tricks up their sleeve that Dark Hour does. And I love them for it. I'm so glad that they can afford to do those things. Um, I don't know if I want to give a ton away, um, but yeah, that's, that's all. Well, that's all I want to say is they have some really, really good things that they use money for and it works. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I kind of wish the walkthrough was like longer, but they did have so many rooms, so many actors. And I think a part of it was maybe we were walking fast. Um, there was one thing that I loved though. There was a funny story that happened. We were walking and you could, sometimes I could notice um, where actors exits were like where they would come in and out you know it was like it was like a cloth um just doorway um it was a doorway covered by a cloth and they would just slip in and out um to go behind a group or go in front like you know things like that there was one time we were walking and you know we had the high people in front of us and there was this little bit of a gap and this guy comes in through the actors like entrance whatever and he just kind of chills and he, if I, okay, he, I'm trying to remember, he came in, I think he looked at me, he wasn't wearing a mask. So I was kind of like, is this guy a part of the exhibits? He looks at me and it like kind of gives me this creepy smile, like, haha, like I'm here um, and I'm not supposed to be. And he like continued walking behind the group. And by the way, he was wearing like tennis shoes, which is fine, but he like, I think he was wearing all black and he had some sort of weird, like, it was like a nun hood, but just on like his head, he wasn't wearing a nun costume. I think he was wearing all black and then had this hood and that was it. Like it, and then you could see his white shoes. Like I was kind of like, are you, are you an actor? Like, are you supposed to be here? And he just kind of like walks like little like creepily like kind of like he's not supposed to be there and he walks behind this group and then disappears like as soon as he found another exit he took it he didn't even try to scare that group so I don't know what he was doing but I love that guy for just being bold and I don't know wandering the haunted house I guess um afterwards at the after we were done we were waiting um, we were waiting in line to see if we were able to get into the smaller haunted house because that was still indoors in this haunted, in the warehouse. We were waiting in line and we saw that guy and he came out of like the normal exit. He came out with, um, like behind other people. And then we thought he was going to just like stop and then like go back into it like an actor would, an actor might, it's like, you know, come out with a group and scare them and then, you know, go back into the haunted house. But he didn't. He just comes behind this group and then continues walking out the exit into the outside. And I was like, I'm not, not sure that he was an actor. <laughs> and I, I just, I want to know that story, but maybe I will never know. <laughs> And I love, I love that there was this bit of mystery to Dark Hour, to my experience. Um, but we weren't able to get into the small haunted house. We hadn't bought those tickets. Um, I think it would have been an extra like $20 to do it or something. And we were like, it's not, it's not worth it. We don't want to buy those tickets now, especially if the tickets are sold out. 
Um, I don't know if they were or not for the small one, um, but the line was short. Um, but yeah, so that was that was our experience. And then we um, waited outside for my sister to come back with a car. Um, that was a little scary because there were not a lot of people in like the parking lot itself and it's dark. Um, there were people still trying to go into the haunted house though we were past them like further away from dark hour and we were just kind of sitting on a curb. Um, and so it was a little like concerning that it was dark and anybody could have tried to like walk up or something. I don't know. Um, the things you worry about as a girl, I don't know. But eventually they got there and we left and it was a good time. Um, I definitely would go back. I just hope that they've like updated everything. Um, I really want to like email them or call them and like have this kind of conversation um, to help them improve because there's so much potential. If you can fix having more actors, then it will be so much better. Um, there were so many spots where you could have had an actor. Um, and if they could have better costumes, aka not wear masks when you don't need it, um, that would also help so, so much. Um, but I look forward to going to Cutting Edge, hopefully next year. Um, but this year it was so expensive. I want to say it was like $72 to go to Cutting Edge, um, which is a 40 minute walk through. And then also like it was a combo thing to also go to uh, Thrill, Thrillvania. Um, and I could not afford to do that. Um, but hopefully somebody else goes to any of these places that I haven't been to yet and post reviews. Um, but yeah, so hopefully some of this was informational. I'm so sorry for however long this video is. Um, Hopefully it had kind of all the things that were needed to answer questions. And I do encourage everybody to go. Um, I give this haunted house like nine out of 10, like totally worth it. Go, um, you can get a $5 off coupon from Spirit of Halloween. Um, they have those every year. Um, usually the code is just spirit, <laughs> um, but use the $5 off. Um, it helps at least a little bit. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully somebody enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Bye.